Good morning, this is Black Crow Walking coming to you from Australia and uh, I'm bringing you a study of A Course of Love by Mari Perrin and we're up to chapter 25 verse 22. It's about discernment today. Practice discernment. Do this by being still and waiting, awaiting wisdom. Your feelings of being identity-less will make decision-making and choices of all kinds appear to be difficult during this time. You must realise decisions and choices are made by relying upon the very lessons you are in the process of unlearning. Good point. At the same time, however, decisions and choices will seem to need to be made with increasing frequency. Your feelings of needing to make new choices while strong will not necessarily reflect real need, but rather an impatience with the way things are and will. You will want to force change rather than wait for it to arrive. If you acknowledge your impatience as a sign of readiness for change, it does not necessarily require action on your part you will feel some relief. Your feelings and of needing to make new choices while strong will not necessarily reflect real need, but rather an impatience with the way things are and were. You will want to force change rather than wait for it to arrive if you acknowledge your impatience as a sign of readiness for change. It does not necessarily require action on your part. You will feel feel some relief. I think that's a very good point. That's why I read it twice. <laughs> All right. When action is seen to be necessary, this is exactly when a, when a time of stillness is needed. So if you think that you need to go into action, that's the time for stillness. You might think of this as still, of a time of stillness as a time of consulting with your new identity. And what is your new identity? Well, it's simply putting the heart and the mind together and sitting in stillness and silence until you have the wisdom that you need through discernment to bring forward to the world and to yourself and your new way of living. Simply sitting quietly and posing the question or concern that is in need of appropriate action will suffice. When the answer comes to you, acknowledge that it is an answer from your new identity and express appreciation for it. While you will at times doubt that you have received an answer or that the answer you have received is correct, you will soon learn to trust this quiet process of discernment. You will know you have succeeded when you truly feel as if you have turned the question or concern over and allowed it to be responded to in a new way. And what is that new way? Sitting in stillness and silence until the wisdom comes. Joining your heart of love with the, with the wisdom of, of love. With the wisdom of your mind and your wisdom of your heart and your emotional wisdom as well, bringing it all together in wholeness and joining. When you are guided to act in this way, in ways that are contrary, when you are guided to act in ways that are contrary to usual patterns, the lightheartedness at, at such times and, and to remember that if it doesn't matter, you might as well try the new way. Remind yourself that nothing matters, nothing there's nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. You will soon learn that this is so. You will also soon realize why this time of engagement with life is necessary. Experience is necessary to complete the cycle of unlearning and learning. Being fully engaged with life while taking the time for discernment is uncommon. 
putting action before stillness, activity before rest, is seen as an synonymous with a full life. We must therefore speak a bit of what a full life is. And guess what, folks? That's coming up. But not today. So today we're looking at discernment. We're looking at stillness and silence. We're looking at sitting until the wisdom comes. We're looking at posing the question, asking, asking the question and then just being still. And just drift in the energy of it and allow that wisdom to come through you. Good luck with that. I love you. Bye for now.